scenic views, open spaces, flowing streams, special memories with friends and family. The RV industry is quick to point out the joys and benefits of RV ownership. But these benefits all come at a cost. In this episode, I'm going to share my list of five things that I'm glad I didn't know before I purchased my first RV. Had I known, I might not have made the purchase and missed out on the opportunities I've experienced. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. Thanks for visiting the On The Road YouTube channel. You know, this channel is all about helping you get the most out of your RV travel experience. Before we get going, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. So let's jump in. Here's my list of five things I'm glad I didn't know before I purchased my first RV. You know, the very first thing I'm glad I didn't know is how much I would spend as a result of the purchase. This includes places like Amazon and e-trailer and places like that. Some examples would be like buying a surge protector, bug screens, and a tire pressure monitor system. So all these are expenses that are beyond the cost of the RV. Now I have a whole host of these things that I purchased and they're all on my Amazon storefront at amazon.com slash shop slash John Marucci. So here's a tip. Avoid spending your max budget on the RV itself. You'll want to have some resources available for other purchases to accompany your RV. So save a buffer there and don't spend everything on the RV. The second thing is I'm glad I didn't know that I would end up upgrading my RV within a year. So discovery and shopping and the purchase process. It takes a lot of time and energy when you do discovery and shopping for a new RV. And we spent quite a bit of time before I purchased my RPOD 171, which was my first travel trailer. So it can spend a lot of time doing that, looking at different models and makes. And you know, it also took a lot of time when I sold my RPOD 171 to market it. So here's the tip with this. Consider delaying doing any major personalizations to your RV during the first year of ownership in case you need to make a change and resell that. Okay, the third thing I'm glad I didn't know is that I would end up upgrading my vehicle, my tow vehicle, within a year. You know, I really liked my Honda Pilot and it was a great vehicle, but it didn't quite work out for larger travel trailers. I had not considered looking at a different vehicle at that point. So here's a tip. Consider purchasing a tow vehicle that has capacity beyond your current needs. So an example is here is the second tow vehicle I purchased was a Toyota Tundra and it had more than enough capacity for the RPOD 179. And those of you who've been following along know I have a Keystone Bullet now and the Tundra can handle that fine as well. So the fourth thing, I'm glad I didn't know the warranty issues I would deal with as an RV owner. And I've made many videos on this about warranty issues. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but it does take a lot of work to work through quality issues and warranty issues. In my first RV, the RPOD 171, there's a rear spoiler light issue that the dealer had a hard time getting fixed. You know, there's also a tongue jack issue on the first trailer that I had where the bolt actually snapped off the foot. And so there's things like this that happen under warranty that you're gonna have to deal with. Uh, there's also a lack of communication, which was incredibly frustrating with the dealers dealing with warranty. So here's a tip, level set your expectations by thinking of your RV more like a small house versus say a machine that's built to exacting specifications. Okay, number five, I'm glad I didn't know the time commitment involved with RV ownership. So this is a big one. You know, there's a lot of routine maintenance, you know, cleaning and waxing, uh, putting the RV in storage, doing checkups, winterization, dewinterization, caulking, taking care of your tires, etc. So all these things take a ton of time. And I'm glad I didn't know that because it made it deterred me from getting the RV, but it does take a lot of time to take care of your RV properly. It also takes a lot of time to get ready to go out on the road and also when you return home, toting supplies in and out of the RV. There's a lot of clutter that can be in your house in the process as you're starting to bring things into the RV and keeping things organized when you're actually not on the road. So you gotta have a place for all the stuff that goes into your RV. So here's a tip, level set your expectations. Being able to travel with your own personal space is great, but just realize there's a lot of work involved. Had I known them in advance, the issues raised in these five points could have been deterrents from my first purchase of an RV. There are some things dealers are just not gonna mention to you. 
They're probably not going to be quick to point out, for example, possible mediocre towing experience with your current tow vehicle, among some other things. And yet, while looking back, I have really enjoyed my experience with my travel trailers. It's great to be able to travel with your own bed, bath, and kitchen in tow. Are there things you're glad you didn't know before purchasing an RV that might have prevented you from making the purchase and enjoying it? If so, feel free to share them in the comments below. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching. This is John Marucci, and so long for now.